Welcome to the Warmaster Podcast, episode 29 of Adventures in 3D Printing. Today we're looking at some Forest Dragon Wood Elves from the Patreon over the summer. They're still available to buy, I believe. And if you sign up for the Patreon, you can get some kind of discount code to make them a little bit cheaper. Uh, these are the Glade Guard, who are the clones of the High Elf Spearmen. So they're 3-3-5 three, three, up for 60 points in Warmaster. And, um, yeah... I've printed some of these off. Um, um, my normal stuff to use now is I've got a, a photon mono, any cubic photon mono, which is a, a kind of monochrome screen with a reasonable print bed, gets about two or three units on there. And I use some Elegoo water washable resin, which is uh, which I then use warm water to get off the build plate. So that removed the biggest issue I had was getting stuff off the build plate. Other people have different issues. But that does make them a little bit softer, so you have to be careful you don't break stuff. As for brittleness, I mean, there's some give in these miniatures. Um, will they break if you drop them? Maybe, maybe. They're certainly not, um, they're not plastic. They're certainly more on the resin scale than the plastic scale. I mean, they're nice chunky spears. I like the fact they've got spear tips on both ends. That's very, um, very elfy, isn't it? Very elfy. I mean, they do look intimidating, don't they, these elves? As, 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 as intimidating as elves could be, because they are still elves at the end of the day, but they do have an, an intimidating look to them when they're holding these spears. Because they're holding double-handed spears in one arm and a shield in another arm. So, I don't, like this fella here, I haven't got my tool with me. I mean, how is he supposed to fight? He's got a shield on one arm and he's got both arms on his double-handed spear. I mean, only an elf could fight like this. So, what we're looking at, we've got no... Got no real lines in this, have we? That's one thing that I've done a video previous to this now about the uh, old-fashioned PLA style printing, and you can definitely see lines in this. You don't, you don't often see lines in resin printing unless you've got a very low uh, kind of entry-level machine. Although I do miss how easy it is to get stuff off. If if you're doing um, like printing terrain in this, this PLA stuff. You can just leave it running and go up and it takes like 30 seconds to take the print off and put a new print on. Um, whereas this, sometimes you leave it on the bed for a day or two because you haven't got the time needed to set up and clean up. So that is a thing. You sometimes think, oh, I can't really ask putting this print on because I haven't got time to clean it up. And you do find yourself, um, yeah, kind of, it's like a chore to clean up. Let's get, I'll get a pen out here. This is one of the problems with the water soluble stuff is cleaning up on undercuts like this can sometimes leave residue, which if I wasn't using water based stuff, this, these residues wouldn't exist because the IPA would get in there and clean it out. You can use a toothbrush to clean them out, but these miniatures are so small and when they're, when they're not cured and undercoated, Generally speaking, you can't see this. You can't see this needs cleaning out because it's too difficult. Oh, a nice ponytail here. Look at this. Braided hair. T typical elves. So not not too many supports. I've missed some here. Look, this is another issue with um, that you don't have with the PLA stuff. Is If there are supports, you're not going to miss them because they're massive. But I, I, I managed to print most of them without supports. But... These supports here I should have really cleaned off before I cured it because now they're harder to get off. You can do more damage getting them off. Oh, sorry. So that was the uh, Glade Guard, who are your... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're called Glade Guard. Your, your Spearman equivalents. And we got the Command Stand. So that's with everything from Forest Dragon. They're easy to print. Um, they're... Cheap enough not to worry about, especially if you're involved in the Patreon and you get some good quality stuff that you can use in the game. Look at this fella here. I was talking about the guy on the last stand. Oh, there's a bit of... What's that there? Is that something broken or is that meant to be there? This, oh, this bit here. No, it's a bit of support. Uh, this fella here... He's got a shield, he's got a two-handed spear, and a bloody horn! 
He's like one a one man band. All he needs is a, a tambourine on his knee and a bloody a mouth organ, and he, he's 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 doing the whole thing, busking in Chelsea Town City Centre. Uh, brilliant. So uh, it's I, 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 it's almost strange now because I'm always getting I'm running run out of words to describe them because they're generally speaking they're such good quality sculpts. And he prints so easily that it really is quite difficult to say anything about them that I haven't already said. So um, I will just go through these and I'll go through, the, we're going to go through the dryads who are the orcs uh, in a second. There's another bit of rubbish there, but it's quite hard to get off. I mean, you can see just compared to my fingernail how big, big these fellas are. Uh, it's incredible, really, how technology has moved that you can get this kind of stuff from home printers. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh, I'm not gonna work, is it? Right, anyway, I've got to stop doing that on camera. Next up, dryads, who are orcs, except they're better than orcs. Uh, so they're orcs, so that is your four, three, six plus profile. Um, they're 60 points, so they're kind of equivalent to the the elves that we just saw, but they're, they're, they're skewed to be more fighty and le with less armor. I'm not sure in reality trees would be only six up armor. I think they should be five up armor. Again, we're going to have problems in like the mouth here. I'm not sure if this is teeth or if this is just uncleaned resin that has now been cured. There's an owl there. Look at that. That's brilliant. Um, so these are going to be easy to paint up. The only trick would be for me is how you're going to get the leaves painted green. Because the leaves are tiny, but they do need to be really green if you're going to do the the men. I mean, there's a million different ways. Just contrast paint brown the men, the the, the trees, the dryads. And you've just got to pick out those green leaves. Um, I always say that there are commercial variants of machines that are... Um, I, I, I promised I said I wasn't going to do this, but you can't help yourself. When you see it, you've got... Because I'll never see it again. There we go. Um, commercial machines that can print at a much higher resolution than this. See that that is the that that is a bit of an issue in here, in how this face, it's a bit furry because it's not cleaned up properly. I'm not sure. I'm nearly finished my my supply, my kilogram of this water base, and although I do like it, it doesn't clean up as well. So what I might try and do is I might try and use some um maybe the green any cubic resin um which you need to clean up with ipa so i'll clean it with ipa and then i will then soak it in hot water to try and make it easier to get off that's got to be another piece there to try and make it easier to get off the bed so i'll clean it in ipa so it's nice and clean and then soak it in hot water to make it come off the bed but that does mean that sometimes um, you're going to break bits and it's going to be a little bit soft and like the base warps and stuff. Um, so heating it up isn't without its problems. But as with everything in this game, uh, it's, it's a trade-off. And we're just going to look across the final set. Because sort of the six strips, as always, no command for these fellas. That's a bloody big bit of support, though. I can't leave that one. Some of them are, are going to leave, but that, that's crazy. I, will, I do promise that I'm going to try and find a way to not spend my whole bloody time cleaning them up. While I'm on camera, um, so they're orcs, but they're fearless, which is a bit cheesy, really. I mean, orcs are good. The, the only thing they struggle with is when they lose attacks due to being terrified, and these fellas don't do it. They do have, um, they can't be terrified. They do have a nega trait attached to that, but you can get around that nega trait by not ordering with your general. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing this forest dragon wood elf infantry and the next video we're going to look at some cavalry.